Hey travelers, back again and got some new beers and same old bath, same old me, same old COVID times. So uh still in the basement of course. But uh, you know, things are looking up on that front. So Yeah, they are. Things yeah. are starting to <clears throat> happen. Yeah, yeah, and I th- I think we'll get out sooner than later, so that's good. Um Shout out to all you teachers. Hopefully, you're you're all getting your vaccines. Uh, I know the ones around here are, are able to. So hopefully, more sooner than later. But anyway, uh, yeah. So I um, I was on social media as I tend to be, looking at beers and what people are making and whether or not I can actually buy those beers around these parts, and. Uh, I saw one, and and I'm, I I want to know from all of you, are you swayed in any way by can art or bottle art or the the label? Yeah, me too. For sure. Uh, without even knowing what's actually in the bottle or the can, if the art looks cool, is that enough for you to buy it? Also, if and there's be no honest. if there's no art, I kind of am like meh. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I I saw the the first one that we're gonna break into is uh, from Central Waters. It's brand new, and to be honest, I'm not I wasn't entire entirely sure that I was gonna be able to find it. Um, and and we do a good job around Eau Claire getting Central Waters beer in. However, um, not all of them for for whatever reason. So for those of you that have had Dunkaroos as a kid. Uh, I, I think they're still around, aren't they? I'm not entirely sure. They were around in the 90s, let's put it that way, and I was also around in the 90s. So, uh... Me yeah, too. Yeah, believe it or not. Um... Because you know that whole saying now, if you were born in the 1900s, you're good to s- to drink. You're 21? You're 21. I'll be darned. So if they just see 1900s, you're good to drink. I'll be darned. Anyway... Uh, so I saw Dunkaroos, and the the f- <laughs> the first uh, that was my first thought when I saw this this beer. It's called Duncan, and it's got a kangaroo on it. And I thought Dunkaroos, right? So it's an imperial milk stout with graham crackers, lactose, and natural flavors, whatever those are. Uh, anyway, Not artificial. I, I won't lie to you. One hundred percent swayed by the can art. One hundred percent. If it were not that can art, I'm not entirely sure that I would have cared all that much. Yep. Do you think the name <clears throat> goes along with some of the can art too? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's got a lot to do with it. Um, I did while I was in Woodman's. Um, oh, Woodman's! Shout out. Yeah. And there's a there's a few that watch that actually have a Woodman's Ooh. in their area. So you you can go to Woodman's too. Um, So Woodman's. (laughs) It smells like a treat. (laughs) Woodman's at one point decided, and I don't know when this was. It must have been a couple weeks ago. Woodman's now has all of the Wisconsin beer. They moved it all. So I had to go find it, first of all. Uh, I I could really razz Troy about that if he were here. Did they move it like deeper into the store so you have to go through everything to find it? Because it's so popular. It, do you remember where the import beer was? Yeah. Like all the German stuff? And that that's where all of the Wisconsin yeah, beer is. Yeah, because they now. want you to go through the whole store. Yeah, to get probably. There, now, I can't so find, now I can't find my German beer. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I believe it was Oso. Oso is another Wisconsin brewery. They have a beer that's just called beer. And the label's white. And it's very basic. And it says beer. I think it's just a simple lager. Okay, no, don't anyway. taste it yet. Just smell that. What are you, it smells fruity. But no, it's not you know, fruit. do you know, do you know what it smells like? What is that? It smells like frosting. It smells like vanilla frosting. <sighs> like you would get out of a Dunkaroos. I could, just, I could just bathe in that. Right, Dunkaroos. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> but it. It's not barrel aged. Oh, it's, it is. It is. An, it is an imperial. It's imperial. Milk that's the what I'm smelling. I don't think it's, I don't think it's Whew. barrel aged though. That is a beer. You 
you're not getting a ton of – so, you know, milk stouts, typically, right, super smooth from the beginning until the end. This is not. <clears throat> you get a little of the bite. That is complex. And the smell is like hits you in the face. I don't get – Is there coconut in there? No, no. it's just graham crackers, but <clears> – <throat> You know, I was thinking about this even before, oh. yeah, cat dog sitting in between us again. Um, I was thinking about this on the on the drive home. Graham crackers doesn't really, the the graham crackers don't have a dominant taste. Like honey graham crackers do, like honey grams. But when you think about eating them, is it a really like strong flavor that you're getting out of a graham cracker? Even the honey ones? No, the only thing I would think <clears> of would be like... Um, the ones that have like ginger in them that are like, that's what you're, that's what you're tasting. That that no, I'm you're tasting like, yeah. vanilla. That's what vanilla. That's you're what I vanilla. am tasting. And it doesn't say anything, but maybe that's the natural flavors is vanilla. Like vanilla beet. Like when you open vanilla flavoring to like put in something for baking, that's <clears> what this smells like. And whoa. Well, and and that's what I was I was suggesting. Um, <sighs> vanilla um, frosting. Is what I get on the nose. That's what that smells like to me. So if you've ever had Dunkaroos, um, it's a good buy, I think. <clears throat> I just like the, I like the can. <laughs> I do, I do really like the beer inside of it too, though. Wow. Yeah, good buy. I got six of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's delicious. Anyway, seven, I think seven, seven is the ABV on it. Yeah. Yeah. The, also, the Imperial is definitely, that's making it the flavor. Bite ear. Uh, not, not, uh, not the super smooth that a milk stout usually is. Yeah. So does Do you feel like Imperials are, I don't want to say sweeter, but when they are sweet, has more of that. I th I think that, well, and this one says it's got lactose in it too. There there are a few times that I can remember having an imperial stout. You're expecting something on the boozier side, something that tastes yes, boozier. boozy. Yes, not necessarily barrel aged, but boozy. Yeah. Um, it's I can remember times where I I saw imperial stout. And then it tasted just like sugary, yes, sweet, syrupy, syrupy. almost. Yeah, yes. This though is um, it's, it's not. Just, it is it's, not that. No, it's <clears throat> but it's rich. It's. I feel like the peers are more rich, like richer, complex. Like just, yeah. Oh, but yeah. Stronger flavors, but they'll kick your ass. Stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, speaking of, we we've had uh, the Lazy Monk Imperial Stout. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, it's on tap now again. So, Woo! had a couple of those, and and of course, just as good as ever. But Beth can only have one of those. Beth can only have one of those. Yeah, Beth can only have one of a lot of beers. Like that beer. Like that one. Uno but we're gonna have another one. Uh, that's why we have cans, twelve ounce cans this week. Yeah. Don't act like you're you're, you're gonna drink the rest of this. That usually that's ends up being me. Though. Um, <clears throat> What's this, uh, he has said the other wouldn't tell me what the other can was. We've had indeed brewing on here before. Yeah. Uh, they've been making a lot of stuff that I've really wanted to get my hands on, and not all of it is available here. Now, granted, we do get quite a bit, so be thankful for what you get and don't throw delicious. a fit. Delicious. Um, so tonight I was browsing because they have a Minnesota section in Woodman's too. Does it really just say Minnesota? No, it doesn't it? say it. Oh, you just know the, by what they're listed. Mm -hmm. Actually, a small tangent, Falling Knife um, Brewery, Falling which knife. which um, is in the old building where, uh, oh, what what was their name? The, uh, the English brewery that I love. That, Northgate. That made Northgate. So they're in, yeah, thank you. We'll go. We'll grow old nicely together. <laughs> Thank you. Um, they're in that building now. The, the same space. Um, not English beers anymore. A lot of IPAs. Uh, Falling Knife is on the shelf 
here. So somehow they got into Wisconsin. Good for them. Um, they had a double dry hopped IPA and some other IPA, <laughs> and, I, and I went, you know, that's not really my cup of meat. So, But if you uh, like it, you drink it. Being the Quinn the Eskimo that I am, I moved on, and I saw that Indeed – had a chai velvet. <gasps> so that's that's what we have. We have. Is this my Valentine's Day present? Yes, you bet. <laughs> so it's a uh, chai velvet mm. ale with chai spices. Delicious. Of course, lactose because you can't have enough lactose in beer. Okay, because chai latte. I know. Hello. I get it. I get it. Chai is my favorite. I get it. If anybody wants to know, chai latte is my favorite. Oh my gosh! I can't wait to try this. It's so pretty. Um, okay, it's kind of not filtered. No, it's not hazy. <sighs> Got a nice set of bubbles like, on it. It smells like Christmas. It does. It's got a lot of that chai spice on the nose. Oh. Mm. Did you get six of those? No, those only come in four packs. However, I did get the last four pack. Aww, so, feel I honored. They're, they're mine? Sure. Yay. <laughs> That's delicious. Um, you know, we were talking about labels. Uh, this is a very nice label, but I don't know that it would convince me to buy the beer oh, inside. That is so good. Right? Wow. And it doesn't drink like it's 7.2. Nope. At all. See, like that's the difference between the other one. Don't the other beer is delicious. Well, but you're like this is a but, strong but, beer. But this, it'll, but it'll it'll be the same. I mean, the the result will be the same. If oh. you were to drink two of these and two, you know, I or understand two of that. Those, but this, I'd be like, oh, I didn't know it was that much. Yeah, <laughs> I drink. Like yeah, three and of that them. would be you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it says it has notes of bread. You get notes of bread? Yeah. Yeasty. Yeah. How yeasty. about how about cream? Yeah, I get cream. And of course spices, but I get cream on the front end and the spices on the back end. Sure. But the smell. The IBUs are only ten, by the way. <sighs> it reminds me of when you're making gingerbread men. And you smell the dough and it's like yeah. oh, it's so good. You know, I was actually I was actually oh. expecting more more chai spice. There's I mean not and not that indeed usually makes overly overly done beers, but I was I just expecting more. I think there's enough in there. Speaking of indeed, before we started shooting this, I see that the Queen, or what used to be called Rum Queen mm. or no whis- rum whiskey King. whiskey queen. Yeah, rum king. And rum King and Whiskey Queen, queen. right? Yeah. No, Whiskey Queen. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's but right. But it's Rum King, yep. yes. So Whiskey Queen is now coming in 12-ounce cans. So hopefully we'll get some of that yes. over in this in this uh, direction. No guarantees, however, but. I love all their beer there. It's good stuff. So good. Yeah. Well they, made. Uh, for those of us in Wisconsin, they do have a Milwaukee location. Um, I they don't, do? I, yeah, they do. They, uh, when did that just, happen? just like everybody else, it happened right around uh, 2019, just just a bit before COVID hit. Stupid, so, stupid COVID. Yeah. So, poof. That's why we have it here. Because it's in Milwaukee. Right. Well, they have a yeah license to. Yep. That's yep. where we get it now. Yeah. Yay. Oh. Yeah. Good for us. I'm just still waiting for more breweries to make. Like, sample packs are great. I love sample packs that have all the flavors in them instead of, like, I have to buy 12 of one Well, beer. I think we've discussed this before. It's very labor-intensive. Like, so, so for instance, Summit, uh, you know, we did a, a big episode at Summit, and we just happened to be there on a day that they were putting together mixed packs, right? Mm-hmm. Now, normally, when they're putting out a 12-pack or, you know, what I don't think they do any cases, but... You know, a six pack, twelve pack, whatever they're putting out, it's very automated. So the you know, it's going through on its own and whatever. Well, when mix packs come, then they have to bring in all of these people by hand. 
and yes, by hand put these beers. That's why they don't do more of it. <laughs> I know you don't care, but that means it costs more. Mix packs cost more. I would pay more. Would you? I would. Okay. Well, I don't know that everybody feels that way. Well, I do. I'm sure you do. Well, maybe, maybe breweries will just, uh, no, they can't in Minnesota because they can't sell directly to the consumer. Um, Lazy Monk does mixed packs. Yeah, but that's here. I know. Yeah. I just think it's nice. It is nice. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the nice thing about certain places, particularly coffee grounds, when you go to pick up beer yes. at the coffee grounds, you can yep. just go to the cooler, and the cooler is set up the same way that it would be in any liquor store. However, you can grab one of those six-pack uh, holders, your own and six you can pack. make your own. You can grab any beer out of there, whether it's still in the four-pack ring or the... You just pop it six, off yeah, and put just, it in your thing. That's right. Which... Is more expensive because they charge more for it. It but is more expensive. However, we're supporting local and uh, the people that work at the coffee grounds, I, I believe, have benefits and all yeah. those great things. But so it's, it's worth it it's to worth me it. to not buy a, a whole six pack. And then if you find stuff that you like, you're like, ooh, I like this. And then I'll go back and buy more. But I just love to taste things and it's nice. Well, when you think about it, so you either get that six pack and you spend... Anywhere between 16 and 20 some dollars. Or you're forced to buy individual six packs or four packs of all of those kinds of beers, which will end up not only potentially giving you beer that you don't like and in the back of the, the beer fridge, and it's, taking up, and it's taking up more space in your beer fridge. Yes. So Cooking beer. It's It's got its... Uh, it's pluses and but minuses. I do love that about coffee grounds. Um, Woodman's has that section too. Festival has a section like Woodman's that. Woodman's doesn't have it anymore. <gasps> Actually, yeah. Now, now what? they have now they have pick your own seltzer. Boo! Yeah, they get, there's a big seltzer. Seltzer push. Festival better not get rid of theirs. I don't think so. I think they still have it. But coffee grounds has like the best beer for pick That's your six. That's because Candace pick. gets Candace some is the bomb. really good beer. Yeah. They also have amazing biscotti. Uh, FYI. One, one more thing before we, we close. I just saw this week, and those of you that have been watching uh, our shenanigans since the beginning. Um, shenanigans. We went down to Old Irving Brewery in Chicago two years ago, three years ago, um, however long it's been. However, we did a full episode there. So... Uh, I just saw this week Old Irving is coming into Wisconsin. They're going to start distributing into Wisconsin, and they make some fantastic beers. So uh, Trevor at at uh, Old Irving makes some fantastic beers. Um, even better than that, if you can get down to Chicago, and I know now is probably not the greatest time to go to Chicago. However, the food at Old Irving is phenomenal and if you want to watch the episode we show the food in there and and the way and the you know trevor talks about um how it's made and and you know who's making it and, and whatever and so it'll make your mouth water if you're if you're hungry it's probably not a great thing to watch but mm. anyway good times old irving coming into wisconsin so good stuff right yeah road, tr road trip road trip anyway that's uh that's all we got for this week so let us know are you convinced to buy beer because of the label or or does that have no influence on you whatsoever or the name because <clears> you know in my industry there's a nail line called opi that is has the weirdest craziest names but that's what they're known for and that's why yeah. people buy them yeah so it's the same thing so comment below check us out on the, on the social medias all of the social medias. That's what I was trying to say very fastly. <laughs> anyway, we will see you next week, everybody. Until then, prost. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.